in the clear. We can take it from here. Those other hostages we saw, you could get them out. Not a mission priority. It may not be a mission priority, but there's still people, damn it! Before you changed so much that you've forgotten what that feels like. All right, change of plan. Hendrix, your team will escort the minister to the extract. We'll go back and get the hostages. More robots. Don't worry about them. We're built to handle them. Go on, get out of here. Go! I got the wheel. Get on the turret. Can you move? I'm fine. I'm fine. Please, just get me out of here. We gotta move! Let's get out of here! Now! NRC reinforcements coming from the left! Minister, are you alright? Can you move? Hey, I'm fine. Right. I'm fine. Please, fire. just... Get me out of here!
achieved our objectives. It's always going to be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustained life-threatening injuries. I'm stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? Me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Hey, still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. <laughs> At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This is... It can't be... What is happening? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Eleven thirty a.m. December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome: train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. Gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, brother, hot. Wipe the floor with these
different advantages. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode, like opening your eyes for the first time, right? Right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Tactical will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Let's see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
flash ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. In. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shh. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. Doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now, you're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. How'd come? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. We hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Out come. Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, new blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. 